What's going on guys? Earlier today I just made a video saying might be the week for Izzy Abanacanda after Robert Sala hinted at personnel changes and it looks like that's probably going to happen because breaking news, the Jets have released running back uh, Michael Carter. I haven't seen any additional reporting on it. I just got that uh, on my phone as I'm getting off work here. And I'll be honest, I was looking forward to Michael Carter bouncing back to rookie form this year and having him, you know, be a good running back too over the next two years on rookie control. Um, but that that player may just, I don't know, it may be uh, a long list of Denzel Mims or Chris Herndon of rookies who flash and then that that's kind of it. Um, because Michael Carter has been bad this year. I think he's actually, the last month, he's been worse than Dalvin Cook. Um, he doesn't He hasn't blocked particularly well. He drops a lot of passes. He doesn't break a lot of tackles. There's not anything he's doing at a plus NFL level right now. And uh, so he's gone. And maybe the Jets feel like he's kind of a player where attitude-wise, you kind of have a big role for him or you you don't. Um, and now this opens up an opportunity for Izzy, who I'm not going to say is going to go out there and be prime Barry Sanders and carry the offense. But when you're this anemic offensively and you've been in so many one-possession games, if he could spring, you know, one twenty-five yard run, like, okay, that net nets us a field goal. Um, we'll take any help of explosiveness, potential explosiveness we can get um, with this offense. And it looks like Izzy Abanacanda should make his debut Sunday against the Buffalo Bills. And we'll talk all soon.